Hey everybody, I'm Pritam Bhadra. I'm a motivational speaker and a corporate trainer. I help professionals and entrepreneurs excel at their communication skills, develop leadership capabilities and master their digital presence. And this is a story time. This story is going to help you understand that how you can take your challenges to opportunities. So it's an old Zen story, okay? There was a king and he has a great kingdom. But he saw there was a growing problem in his kingdom that his people has become, I would say, very soft at the same time entitled. And this was very critical for him because he realizes one thing that if his people has become soft, then every challenge that they are going through, they are not going to actually take it and improve. Rather than they will sit back and they will avoid the challenges and because of which the growth of his community won't be possible. Disappointed by this, he thought that he will throw a challenge to each and every one of them and see that who reacts in which way and who's the leader who can transform these people. So because of this, he had a very simple plan. There was a main road that was going to the main market of the whole kingdom where all the trade and everything works. So he went on to that main road okay, and he placed a very, very big boulder in the main road which covers the whole main road and because of which uh, there was no possibility in order to you know you can go from the road nearby or you can just uh, skip it through the only way in order to go through that main road to the main market was that you either break it or you slide it I mean, you just have to take that, that big boulder and keep it aside and only when the road is clear you would be able to go that was the only way so he was hiding in the bushes and he was trying to see that who is the one I mean, who who will actually take the action you know take that plunge and do it people came okay one after the other they came in groups sometimes uh, they came in their own vehicle sometimes and everybody tried and and, and they, they did something or the other and guess what and because of which it was a big big boulder and it didn't work out for them they got disappointed and they went back home this actually worried the king so much People came, they tried their luck, but seeing that there is no fruit available, there is there is no way that they could go through, they got disappointed, they lost. Some even blamed the king and saying that the king administration is not effective and because of which they're not able to understand that there's a critical roadblock which is actually going to the main market. And because of which the economy is getting down, they didn't understand this as well and because of which king should be blamed. Some said that it's because of my fate, you know, my past, I have did wrong things in my past and because of which this happened to me. They started blaming their own luck. And that I made actually the king realize that nobody is here in order to take the plunge. Nobody is here to take the challenge and actually do something about it. And they only keep complaining. Oh God, this is a critical situation for them. And then after a few weeks came a peasant. The peasant saw the roadblock and it was huge. He tried his level best in order to break it. It was so huge that nothing actually happened. But he refused to give up. It was important for him in order to go through that road to the main market because it was for his survival. When your why is clear that why you want to do things, going through the problems becomes so easy. He went into the woods and he looked out for a big branch of a tree so that he could sharpen it in order to make it a lever which would place under the rock in order to slide it. Obviously he couldn't break it but he could slide that and that's what he did. And the moment he slid the rock, he got a pouch, okay, a bag I would say. In that bag there was gold coins from the king and a letter which states the obstacle in the path becomes the path. Never forget that each and every obstacle or actually gives us an opportunity in order for us to improve. Don't you think this happens with our life as well? We all are going through problems. We all are hit by some reason or the other and because of which we keep complaining. But if we accept the problem as a part of our life because we are surrounded by these kind of problems, then there is a chance that we will overcome that and grow and learn from it. And the next time you face a similar kind of problem, you won't be worried. You know why? Because you already have the experience, you will shrug it off like this. And this is what happens when we go through problems and we accept the challenges because that helps us to grow to the next level. 
I hope that these kind of videos are something that is very useful for my community. If that's a yes, kind of let me know in the comment section that how you're liking and what are your life experiences which can help our community grow. And I will see you.